students this is arindam bagia and today we are going to continue the remaining part of the adventures of tom sway uh, in my previous presentation i have described the first 12 chapters of uh, the adventures of tom sway and tried to explain it in my own words in an, in a in a very easy way i hope uh, you understand that part now today we are going to continue with this with, with, with this section which is chapter number 13 and 14 so what do you have today now uh, the feeling for four second and friendliness like a boy uh, nobody loved nobody loved tom was a bit frustrated uh, because nobody loved him in the previous chapter also he was um, handled or he was uh, managed in a such in such a fashion which he didn't like but uh, anyway he was feeling little bit down so tom decided to turn to a life of crime he was thinking a bit of you know kind of adventure so he meets jo harper his soul's sworn comrade jo harper has been described in this fashion comrade and then begin to lay their plans and decide to include huck finn so they were creating a gang of pirates and uh, there are three members one of them is uh, tom himself then they have uh, jo harper and the third member is huck so huck don't have any problem with that because uh, he is a kind of vagrant boy <coughs> who do not have any specific place to live so easily he was uh, ready to uh, accept this plan and uh, then the three um, plan to meet at the night and uh, they meet at a particular place and they assume their pirate name they borrowed or captured they know they they borrowed uh, a small log raft to take them to jackson island jackson island is an island which was you know in that area in the river so these three boys and now they choose their own pirate name uh, somehow manage to get uh, a small log raft and they are heading towards jackson island they want to create a camp there so that they can stay over there the following afternoon the boys hear unusual sound deep sullen boom came floating down out of the distance and see a ferry crowded with towns people tom realizes that somebody is drowned actually not drowned actually people were looking for them after spending a few moments that uh, who might have drowned the boy realizes that towns people think they have drowned because these three boys were missing from the town na? so uh, initially tom thought nobody will care about him nobody will look uh, they will be looking for them but the thing is <coughs> when they were not found in the town the citizens of the town they were looking for them and they were uh, screaming and looking for these three boys um when they realized these people are actually looking for them they were very much excited and overjoyed and they thought uh, somehow they are in the center of attention and now their companions will envy them they will much get they will get much more attention than they usually do usually do jo vaguely hints that maybe uh, this is the time uh, we should go back to our family our family must be grieving uh, must be feeling bad because they cannot find them huck and tom started ridiculing him then um, huck jo go to sleep and tom writes two notes <coughs> he left one note in jo's hat and he kept the other note uh, and went his way to the sandbar move to the sandbar so this is chapter 13 and 14 now we are heading towards chapter 15 and 16 so what we have here tom actually came back to st petersburg and he over years aunt polly was uh, planning for his funeral they thought that tom is dead already so they were preparing for some sort of funeral uh, this is religious practices every religion has their own uh, own way of funeral so aunt aunt polly kami commissionerates commissarates with uh, mrs harper he was actually joe's mother you know joe is already uh, with tom so uh, both agrees that the boy were mischievously uh, mischievous and uh, they were uh, different but they never meant any real harm yes they accepted it yes they are different they might not listen to them properly but they are they do not harm others both women was regretting that that we would not we would not be able to see the boys again and uh, tom was watching all these thing 
from the window and tom was restraining himself so um it was like he was thinking about this that uh, this is the right time if i scream and say here i am here i am then he might get the you know uh, love and affection which he was looking for but he somehow managed to restrain himself instead of leaving the note as he planned tom did not leave any note there so the plan was one note was left with jo harpa in the hat of jo and he was planning to leave another um, note in, uh, in his home so that uh, people might be you know relieved to know that uh, they are actually alive but tom after watching the uh, conversation between aunt polly and mrs harper he decides that no i am not going to leave any note there rather he had something else in his mind that will be explained to you in the next part so tom leave with the note still in his pocket and return to the island and where he found jo and hark continue their adventures eventually what happens jo harper become homesick and uh, it was been uh, hinted earlier in the last uh, in the last part also jo was asking uh, tom and uh, hark to go back to their places because their family might be feeling uh, frustrated feeling low and might be you know worrying about their life so it was entered there so jo harper directly said said i am homesick so tom and hark started to ridicule him and uh, hark do not bother about home hark has no home actually so he do not wants to go back after all uh he is like he is completely free tom uh, reveals a secret plans and the other boys decide to remain in the island so um the plan was like that he thought he give it a give it a thought earlier when he saw aunt polly and mrs harper was discussing about he was thinking for a dramatic entrance so uh, the plan was like this something like this so that will be uh, described in the next chapter so that night when they were staying in then in that island there was a heavy storm there was a fierce storm over there so they took shelter um, under the island tent until the tent blows away so that so the uh, storm was so fierce like the very one we have amphan or umpun whatever name you give it to so it was fierce so their tent was blown away then they huddled together under a oak tree and somehow they manage to remain alive and they realize they could have been killed if they remained in their camp so that's in the chapter 15 and 16 so uh, chapter 17 and 18 will discuss that uh, uh, it is tranquil saturday afternoon in st petersburg there is no gaiety as the adult prepare for the boys funeral so the city so the town was preparing for the boys funeral three boys they lost their according to the citizen those three boys are lost or dead or something happened bad happened with them so they were preparing for funerals becky thatcher herself mopping about the schoolyard she was feeling very, she was very uh, feeling very melancholy she has nothing to remember tom by and she wishes he had been uh, she had the brass knob that she returned to him on the sunday the toll of the church bells uh, calls the mourners to the funeral services the villages begin and uh, nothing the rare promise of the lost lads their sweet generous natures their noble beautiful actions and their promises suddenly there was a rustle in the gallery and uh, suddenly the door opened the entire congregation rises and stares at the three boys alive and walking down the aisles first tom then joe and then huck so so they literally they use their funeral for reappear you know in a dramatic way so the people were very low at that time they were depressed they lost three boys now they were very young so um, that's a very sad picture inside the uh, inside the church so suddenly the entire sadness was removed by a surprise and the surprise was the three boys were was walking down the aisle uh, first it was tom then joe and then hark Uh, so aunt polly uh, normally she was grieving na last day so when she found back tom she was extremely happy everyone is happy she even embraces hakfin so the minister 
minister leads the congregation with hymns and praises for the rest of the day. Tom receives more cups and kisses than he has received in a year. So he was adored by everyone. At school, Tom uh, became a hero. Every young children was like, for them, he was like a hero. He was like, a, like an icon of adventure. So Tom and Joe, they were envied and uh, admired by their peers and they become conceited and swaggering. Tom decided that fame and glory is quite enough for him. He doesn't need Bec Becky's attention anymore. Previously, Becky was not at giving pay paying attention to him. So when he got this fame and love, adoration from the people around him and from his company, so he was thinking that I do not need Becky anymore. When she arrives, he ignores her. <laughs> That's something uh, interesting. So he was uh, shifting his attention towards Amy Lawrence, someone who, who Becky doesn't like. Uh, Amy Lawrence, Amy Lawrence. Um, you know, so Becky was trying. Becky was trying very hard to get the attention of Tom, but she she was unable to get anything. So Be uh, Tom continues to ignore her. Becky um, thought that she needs to do something so that Tom might feel uh, kind of jealous um, and uh, then uh, he might uh, look uh, around him or, or he might pay some attention towards her. So Becky decides to make Tom jealous and she seeks out the company of Alfred Temple, another character we can see here, Alfred Temple. So this particular character, um, Becky thought that if he... Mm, if, if she sorry my bad if she becomes intimate with Alfred Temple then Tom will be feel jealous but Tom find himself tormented um, Amy is chatting with um, uh, was nonsense for him and uh, he could not tolerate and uh, at noon Tom goes back to home because he do not he was not in a position or rather he do not want to see Becky enjoying Alfred's company so some that means whatever Becky thought about the point of jealousy, um, she is right. Tom was feeling some kind of, uh, Tom was uh, having some sort of uneasiness or rather he was kind of irritated uh, with the action of Becky. So Tom is not around to suffer and she sends him on his way for his part. Alfred realizes that he has been used for. And for revenge he pours ink over Tom's book at the passage for the day's lesson. So, um, Initially, Becky was uh, uh, close to Alfred and uh, that scene, their close company with each other was making jealous. Tom was getting jealous because of their company. Um, Alfred is getting the company of Becky, so he was totally uncomfortable with that. But when he left, at that time, Becky thought, well, enough is enough. Uh, I do not need Alfred anymore and Alfred actually realizes it that he has been used so out of that jealousy now Alfred is also very jealous he realizes that uh, the company Becky uh, had with her with him was actually for a reason or actually for a purpose he has been he was been used he had been used uh, he was used by Becky so so it is what he did actually what he poured ink over Tom's book and day's lesson. So Becky glasses glances into the schoolroom in time to witness Alfred's treachery, but she decided to let Tom be punished because of the way he treated her earlier. Becky actually saw this that uh, how um, how uh, Alfred uh, poured ink on Tom's book. She actually saw this, but. She didn't um, mind or rather she didn't say anything because she wanted to wanted Tom to be punished because the way Tom um, behaved with her, she, she was not happy with that. So that's why when Alfred uh, was doing something wrong with Tom, she was actually remained, she was kind of silent or he do not, sorry, she do not want to interfere with that because she knew very well that for this action, for the action of Alfred, Tom will be punished. So that will be all for today. Uh, I have a request for you. Uh, I have seen from the statistics that 55% um, <laughs> uh, subscribe, 55 percent of my viewers they are actually subscribe my channel. 45% didn't. So this is my earnest request to you. Please subscribe my channel and uh, thank you for watching this video.
प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू